football coach and a very successful one. I'm scared just like the rest of the people here. Personally, I don't think this board knows what freaking direction they're headed. Emotions running high inside a Valley School Board meeting as a community demands answers. This has been escalating after the superintendent and school board in Apache Junction parted ways. All of this as we learn of illegal campaign contributions made to two board members, including the president. ABC 15's Ashley Holden was there inside that meeting tonight asking for answers to questions many people have. And it's just causing chaos at the worst possible time. One day after the governing board for the Apache Junction Unified School District decided to cut ties with its superintendent, it felt more like a Friday night as dozens of parents and teachers like Shannon Corbin walked into the Performing Arts Center. The firing of Heather Wallace was a complete mistake. People coming to the board meeting as the district prepares to hire its fourth superintendent in just six years. Monday, the board voting to enter into a mutual severance agreement with the now former superintendent, Heather Wallace. It's really not mutual. A statement posted by the board president says there was a difference in vision, but some, including board member Bobby Bowders, say there's more to the story. There has been a concerted effort by the board president and a majority of the board to bully and harass the superintendent. ABC 15 requested the severance agreement and found out it's costing the district $96,000 to part ways with Wallace. That seems expensive. It is, yeah. Do you think it's a waste of money? Absolutely, and this district is is really desperate for cash right now. We can't be affording to pay two superintendents every two years. Dozens taking to the microphone for public comment. This board isn't looking for a quality leader. They're looking for a yes man, a rubber stamp. Two people stood up agreeing with the board's decision. Using the salary negotiation to pit the faculty against the governing board rather than striving for unity and common goals is reprehensible in my opinion. But many spoke out in support of Wallace. It is with these things in mind and a heavy heart that I submit to you my resignation. One principal even resigning publicly. We tried to get the board president's side after public comment was finished. We're just hoping to get a few minutes with you, um, hoping no you could comment. talk. No comment. You don't think that people deserve to hear from this, the board president after everything? $96,000, that's a lot of money. But all we were told was no comment. Members in the community say a recall effort for the three board members who voted for the severance agreement is already underway. In Apache Junction, Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona.